really felt this house is, is solid enough to sell itself. There has to be secure jobs to get people back in the housing market. My name is Ross Jackson. I'm a teacher and I'm trying to sell a house in St. Paul. Hi, I'm Lee Eggerstrom, the Economic Development Fellow for Minnesota 2020. We love this house. We've lived in it now almost uh, five years. The widow next door was moving out, so we've been talking to her for a few years, and, and after some time decided we wanted to make that move. Uh, we put it on the market in June of this year, because we really felt this house is, is solid enough to sell itself. We had a lot of lookers, but not, in, not a single offer. Really? And that was, that was surprising. It surprised a lot of people in the neighborhood. Mid-August, we thought, we gotta, we gotta do something here. You know, let's, let's keep this thing going. Let's find some renters. Within two weeks, we had six people really interested. One put in an application, and they're the ones that are gonna be here, a family with three kids. And the interesting thing is, they own a home in, in uh, North Minneapolis. And my understanding is they're going to rent their house because there's so many homes there, foreclosures and whatnot. They don't expect to sell it for much at all, so they're going to hold on to their home. So it's sort of an interesting trickle effect of owners <laughs> renting to other owners that are renting their house. So we've, it, it's, it's, an, it's another web. You well, know, what it sounds like is that, uh, that you've found a temporary... Uh, uh, reprieve, if you will, that you're buying time yeah. for something in the, the markets to turn around. And that's what's so frustrating because from a public policy standpoint, you can't just massage the housing market. Mm -hmm. the, the, the flip side is that is that you have to do something to stimulate demand from the consuming public. And that hangs on jobs. The other side is these the interest rates. You know, this is a time to buy in terms of interest rates. It's, you, you can't get any better. So it, everything's primed and there's just no demand. You just can't get that certainty. People will have, have work and then buy. Because of Federal Reserve Board action, mm -hmm. int uh, interest rates on mortgages are the lowest in history. In history yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean that people can access them right. because Still. of very timid lending by banks and financial institutions. We've got some real estate agents just a couple doors up, and so they, they just talk about what a crazy, you know, they've never seen anything like it. They can't, they don't know what to do. They're doing their best. Sure. And they it have. has to be a two-pronged thing to come out of this. There has to be secure jobs mm -hmm. to get people back in the housing market, mm -hmm. and we have to have some strength in the housing market again to get the overall economy going. Mm 